The first feature that I love in Android 14 on my Pixel 7a is auto confirm for pins that are longer than six characters. It makes using the old style of pin input method on my Pixel 7 Pro with Android 13 feel kind of archaic. And it's something that I missed when I switched from Samsung to Pixel. With Samsung, you could just put your pin in. If it was correct, it would bypass the lock screen. On Pixel, you would have to enter in your password and then hit the enter button. Now, skipping the home screen and the auto confirm is only available for pins that are longer than six characters, but I changed the pin on my Pixel 7a just to take advantage of this new update. Now, in today's video, we're gonna go over nine more uh, new little kind of features, tweaks, and updates in Android 14 on the Pixel 7a, but these will basically make it across from the Pixel 7a, the Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 7, the Pixel 6a, the Pixel 6 Pro, and the Pixel 6. This is just gonna be what Android 14 looks like in general on these devices, and now this isn't all of the new features, tweaks, and updates, but these are some of my favorite. Now, number two on this list is a new mute icon in the status bar. You also see this new icon in the audio settings when you're going through and adjusting the volume for notifications, and it just kind of falls in line with the rest of the aesthetic uh, for Material U. The third one is a new charging indicator that follows other elements like when the camera is being used. When you put your phone on to charge, you will see the animation that lights up on the top right hand portion of the screen. I really like it. It kind of feels kind of more bubbly and friendly and just reminds you that your device is charging as opposed to the much smaller, harder to read icon. And I think that in general, this change is going to look great on Pixel Fold devices as well as the smaller screen Pixel 7a. Now, the third new update that we have is a new tutorial for gesture navigation. Now, my father on his Pixel 5a 5g is still using kind of the old school buttons. Whether or not he tried using the gestures, maybe a good test for this is to have my dad try this new tutorial for gesture navigation to see how he adapts to it. But in general, I'm always a fan of seeing new tutorials or other things that make the process of transitioning to Pixel easier. Now, the fifth change that you might notice is new toggles that fit the Material U theme in settings. These uh, new toggles just kind of look more seamless and fit in with the rest of the whole Material U aesthetic. And we really see that Android 14 is more about Google kind of bringing home kind of a unified aesthetic across all of the design elements in this new version of Android. Number six on this list is a customizable lock screen and clock along with shortcuts. Now, this is something that I have been waiting for for a while. I personally think that the general aesthetic of the lock screen on Android, at least on Pixel, is kind of boring. I know there's ways to customize it, but being able to customize the shortcuts that you have as well was actually one of my favorite just overall features of Xiaomi's MIUI, and it's nice to see that we have a bit of home screen or lock screen customization making its way to Pixel. Number seven on this list is a new battery saver icon. Now, I don't really think that this matters that much in the overall grand scheme of things, but it seems like Google is trying to simplify some of their design elements to make them more small screen friendly. Whether or not that means that we're gonna have a more flagship Pixel 7 coming out that's got more of the flagship features of the Pixel 7 Pro with the smaller screen, or if this is Google's way of adapting Android more for the small screen of the Pixel Fold, I'm not really sure. But in general, I like these simplified uh, design elements because I feel like it's more small screen friendly. And I really kind of prefer that to having these kind of small, really detailed animations and icons in the, in the overall uh, UI of Android. Number eight on this list is dots that represent the pages in your home screen. And now I know that there's been a little bit of controversy with the home screen layout of the Pixel Fold, people wanting options for being able to change the uh, outer lock screen to the inner lock screen, stuff like that. But having the dots on the home screen, I think is a cleaner kind of design aesthetic as opposed to having the little transparent bar at the bottom. Again, this makes it more small screen friendly, which I think is indicative of what we're seeing on the Pixel Fold. Now, number nine on this list is Material U themed icons when you're entering a password 
on the unlock screen. Now, I find this one kind of superfluous. It might not make it into the final build of Android 14, but it still carries on this kind of very fun and friendly theme to Android 14 and Material U, and it's, I'm glad to see it kind of rolling out into more elements of Android. Now, the last one on this list I think is cool, but I'm not sure how useful it is. We, this is a two-parter. We have the flash notification. This is something that we've seen with iPhones for a while. If you put your iPhone face down, you will see the flash go off to notify you of notifications. Uh, this makes a lot of sense on Pixel because when you put your phone face down, it goes into do not disturb mode. Having the little flash on the back to use as a notification light, I think would be awesome for circumstances where you can't really use your phone or you need your phone to be silent, but you need another type of notification. The other one is a little bit weirder, which is kind of screen color notifications, where if you're using the device and you get a notification coming in, the screen will kind of shade different colors. It can shade for yellow, orange, green, red, and overall, it feels kind of like this half-baked attempt, I, something I feel like I've seen on ROMs and launchers from back in the day, and I highly doubt that's going to come to Android 14 on the final rollout. But let me know if you guys like this feature or not. Would it be one that you use? And out of all of the features listed here today, tell me which one you're looking forward to the most in Android 14. The first awesome feature the first awesome feature in Android 14 on the Pixel 7a is auto confirm for pins longer than six characters. And honestly, this is something I've been waiting for for a while. It's something I even saw people talking about in Pixel 6 groups like a year and a half ago coming from Samsung. 